everyone in this video i'm going to show you how we're going to use heat map of a cnn to turn it into an rcnn <laughs> Okay, so we know that uh, any CNN would basically classify your uh, image into one of its categories, right? You train a CNN to certain number of categories, and then you give it an image, and it gives you back the classification of that image. Okay, that's very good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you're going to uh, draw or plot the heat map of the CNN. Let me explain what's the heat map of a CNN and how we're going to use this to turn any CNN into an RCNN because we know that uh, a, a traditional CNN, the one yet that you can find uh, pre trained, like the one we're going to use now, like Google Net, is, is very good in classification, but it does not give you the region of interest, right? The ROI. This is the region of interest or the bounding box of whatever you're looking for. So, to do this, uh, what basically people do is that they, they use uh, RCNN or fast RCNN. There is basic, uh, there is even faster RCNN and, and stuff like that. And it is quite different than the normal CNN. It needs uh, it needs a, a more computational power to train it. Not also not only that, you also need to have the bounding box in each training example. So you train it, okay, to a data set and you give it in the, in, in the data set the uh, region of interest okay you give it the bounding box of the region of interest and you train it based, based on this okay uh, also there is a lot of not a lot of uh, pre-trained rcnn so what i'm trying to do through this video uh, basically through all my videos through my channel is to um, give you guys uh, more ideas and how we're gonna uh, create uh, some ideas that you will not find on the web, okay? A uh, little bit different. So, my goal in this video is to show you how we can uh, use any CNN, a traditional classification CNN, like Google Net, like AlexNet, uh, like the one, a one that you create yourself, giving it um, a group of images with classification only, and not even bounding boxes, and how we're going to use it to detect uh, the region of interest and the bounding box. Okay, uh, which is very cool. That's that's something that I don't find on the web. So I I figured it out why not to share it with you. Okay, so again we're gonna do this using what is known as a, a, a heat map, a CNN heat map. Let me explain the heat map. Now a heat map is another image basically of um, the same size of your input image, but it for each pixel you have a value that tells you how much is this pixel affected the, the the decision of the CNN. Okay, let me explain more. Let's take an example. Here is an image, okay? This image here. Let's open it outside MATLAB, and I'm gonna show you uh, what I mean by a heat map uh, over this image. So here is the image. That's an image of a cat, of course. So when we, when we say to any CNN, uh, again, I'm going to use in this example the pre-trained Google Net, which is a very good CNN, by the way. Of course, many people, it's one of the most famous uh, CNN uh, used. So it can give me that, okay, this is a cat. But to get the bounding box around the region of interest, okay, that this is a cat, or here basically, and remove the background or neglect it, you need an RCNN. Now we don't need it. We can even use this pre-trained to get this ROI. The idea is, for each pixel here, you will have a corresponding value from 0 to 1 that tells you how much this pixel affected this decision. Okay? This is very important. So, let's say this pixel. Now, this pixel in the background has not really affected the decision of the CNN. Because whatever is here, whatever is the, the value of this pixel, whatever happens in the background does not affect the the, the classification decision of this CNN that it is a cat, right? If you have anything here in the background, this does not affect that it's still a cat. However, if you started to um, uh, change the pixels here inside this area, this will affect the decision 
or the score basically or the probability of this uh, of how much this decision is correct for the CNN so let's say that you have manipulated here maybe it will start to think that it is something else okay or give you another classification so basically the pixels here in this area are the most effective pixels they are the pixels that made the CNN think that this is a cat right or give you the decision that it's a cat but here the pixel does not give you how are we gonna visualize this we visualize this using the heat map it's a very uh, strong effective and a good idea a heat map is basically one step backward that after you do your your classification after you <clears throat> give your your image to the cnn and after it analyze it what you do is that you get back to see the how much uh each 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 pixel okay um activated the neuron i want to make it simple for you so each pixel activate a certain neuron inside your neural network right cnn so how much each pixel affected the decision or affected the weight that has been given okay or has been activated by this pixel the higher or the more this pixel affect your decision the closer it will be to, to one and the less it affect your decision it's going to be zero okay and then you're going to have a map okay uh, a heat map basically goes from zero to one to tell you how each uh, uh, pixel affected the decision okay now once we do this we have a threshold okay of that whatever wh whatever uh, pixel has on the heat map more than let's say 0 0.6 it is it is one of the pixel inside our uh, roi or region of interest and whatever is less than this threshold is not in the region of interest then you take a bounding box and then you get the roi this is why this is cool before i run the code and, and and make more explanation this is so cool because okay on the web you would find that it's separated either it is a traditional classification cnn or it is an rcnn again to make your rcnn you need to make the bounding box around your database there is a lot there is not a lot of databases that will give you the image and its bounding box for the roi you will not have this so uh, it's quite rare okay also it is much easier for us to use the classification traditional cnn because we already have a lot of pre-trained cnns like the google net and alex net but not a lot as our cnn so this idea is very cool that you can turn any cnn to an r cnn using the heat map okay and it make you visualize how the cnn sees your uh, your image not only this i will show you also that in with this code you can even detect a certain class let's say that you give the image to your cnn and say okay it's a car but let's say in the background or next to the car there is a dog and you wanted to classify or get the region around the dog you can use this code to detect whatever you want inside your image i'm going to show you how you're going to do this so this is i think is, is, is very cool okay so let's start now basically i'm using again google net and you have in google net you have thousand class okay uh, originally it is not alphabetically ordered so i made it alphabetically ordered inside this excel uh, excel file so you have the class name and the class index in the original classes which is of course i didn't do it it's a pre-trained cnn okay you can find it in matlab you can find it in matconvnet it's very famous and find it anywhere and of course there is a copy of it here in my code um, and also you will get all the files all the examples this excel, uh, excel sheet all the codes and there's a pre-trained google net in the link in the description okay also please guys don't forget to like subscribe and share okay so here you can see that it is alphabetically ordered of all the classes and it's indexed in the original um, vector of classes and you can see this a thousand class of very different stuff it is very famous this uh, classifications classes uh, you will find it with the alex net and the google net and stuff like that it contains a lot it contains a thousand class okay okay uh, now let's run the code and see how it goes now when we run the code okay it will tell you okay upload the image so let's upload this image here now it will ask you do you want a specific class do you know the class that you want now for now for this example i'm gonna say no i don't want i don't know what what is the class of this image so i will just hit cancel okay when i hit cancel the code itself uses okay the uh, the the highest 
score okay and they set it as the class so the highest score of course is uh, labrador retriever which is a, this this type of uh, of of dog okay the species of this dog so it, it gives me this class and it gives me this is the highest score and here what you see is the heat map this is the heat map i'm talking about so here at each pixel we see a value which is how much it affected the decision so look here you can have 0 0.7 or 0.8 here you have one with one which is one which is the most important pixel stuff like that now let's this is the first okay uh, uh, figure another figure that you see is we put uh, the both uh, both images in the same block so we have here uh, basically the hi highlighted the pixels which we carry and you can see that the background does not really affect the the decision it is this area here so we make uh, the thresholding and we take a bounding box so we know so it it, it like it really works basically like any rc and n and you get the, uh, the ROI or the region of entry. But remember, this is a traditional CNN, okay? And you can even do your own CNN. You can train your own CNN uh, as a classical classification CNN and then make it with this code and RCN. Okay, let's take another example here. Okay, again, I'm not going to give you the class. I'm going to say cancel, and that's it. And so you can see that it says, okay, this is a Jeep. So it knows it's a car and not even the type of it from the logo. So it is a Jeep, give you the best score and give you the heat map. And you can see that it is around this area. So you have here the ROI and you can see here the unified uh, image. Now, let me show you something which is even more interesting. Let's take, okay, let's take this image. Again, I'm going to say I don't know the class or I don't care about a specific class. Now it's going to say that this is a Scottish deer hound, which is a type of dogs, of course, and it's going to give you the ROI like usual, right? But let's say I want to detect the motor, uh, the motorcycle. I know that there is a motorcycle here and the, or a scooter here, and I want to detect it. Okay. Now look at this. This is very, this is very cool. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna upload the same image, but this time I am gonna look. Okay, this is alphabetically ordered. I am gonna look for a motor scooter. Okay, which is one of the um, the the classes here in the thousand class vector, and uh, it is the uh, Okay, it is very close to the motorcycle I want to detect. So I want to, to have a more, yes, a motor scooter. Once I select it, I say okay. And then we see something very, very strange. We see that the heat map has shifted from the dog and it is now more around this area. So it gives me a, a, bound, a bounding box around this area. So you can even detect different uh, subjects or different objects inside your image so let's take this for a second let's now this is an image of uh, okay I know this image has a traffic light so let's uh, select the traffic light that that's a T so ST uh, okay so here is S so T okay we want a traffic light so okay not here yet so I made it alphabetically ordered to be easier. So it's a traffic light. And then we say, okay. So you can see now that the heat map has shown me that whatever the, the pixel that most affect the decision of a traffic light is here. So I see the bounding box around the traffic light. Now the same image, I am going to say, okay, detect a dog. So I am going to say for the same image using the same CNN, which is the Google net using the same everything. I am going to detect the dog. So uh, let's look for African African hunting dog, which is uh, basically a very close to any dog. Okay. So we say okay. And then you can see here you go. You have another heat map, which you have here the highest uh, values for the heat map because this pixel is very effective. So you have the bounding box here. So here you go, guys. That's very good. Now you can see that the score is low because this is not the highest score because you have given the CNN a certain class to look for. But uh, what's really cool about this uh, code is that you can detect different parts in the same image, given that you know what you're looking for. If you don't, you just say cancel, and you leave it for the, the CNN to get the best classification, and say cancel, and that's it. It gives the best classification, and you can know which, which, which one is best using the heat map. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video, guys. Uh, 
uh, you will find everything in the uh, description thank you for watching